It's no secret everyone loves Taco Tuesday. However, a restaurant in the East is serving tacos every day along with some other amazing foods. We find out all about it in this week's Down Eats. Driving into Moorhead City, it's hard to miss Dank Burrito, the fun paint job on the outside, only enhanced by the incredible food on the inside. Eyes in the window. No matter what you order, Dank Burrito always delivers big flavors. The Dank Burrito kind of represents really good food, just a fun place to work. But this restaurant hasn't been around for long. In fact, the dream of serving up awesome burritos and tacos started off in this humble food truck back in 2014. I didn't really think we would need this much space, but we do. It's, uh, it got small really quickly. That's due in part to the big crowds lining up for more of what Dank Burrito is serving up, like this blackened tuna fish taco. You know, you hear the term blackened, and we're not looking for a color per se. It's, it's more of the, of, the, of the season and blend. Cooked off on the stove top. God made tuna to be eaten at a uh, <laughs> medium rare. Medium rare. This locally sourced fish is a big hit as Dank customers eat through about 30 pounds of it each day, served up under a freshly made salsa. Just kind of let the flavors marry together. And I mean, it's super fresh and super delicious. And a little sour cream and cilantro. It's a hit that you gotta keep coming back for more of. There's nothing that isn't good, it's all good. I've tried everything on the menu. Like the carne asada tacos, one of the best sellers at the restaurant, made from top quality shoulder tenderloin. Uh, we use like a garlic and chili paste. This is kind of the base of what we're using. And then we have our, uh, our seasoning blend. After mixing, the meat goes in the fridge for hours. Kind of what the final product looks like. And then we take this and we, uh, we go straight to the grill with it. But this isn't your average taco. After cooking, the tender meat is paired with something many may have never had before, kimchi. So it's like a fermented, uh, like Korean, like cabbage. So much flavor in this, you kind of overlook how good the beef is and how well it's seasoned. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's yeah. multi-layered. Yeah. And it's a trend at Dank Burrito, whether you get a fish taco quesadilla or the incredible white truffle mac and cheese, you're in for a treat. Just driving down the road and having to see it look cool, so we stopped by. Whether visiting the Crystal Coast or a local, Dank Burrito is becoming a hit with everyone. Starting from a food truck, now into a fully operational building, who knows what the limit may be. We had a, we had a great 2016, and uh, yeah, folks have really kind of enjoyed it. They've kind of caught on to our, our brand, and it's been fun. Eating in Moorhead City, Josh Birch, 9 in Your Side. Now, this wasn't included in the piece there, but I was at Dank, Dank Burrito. It was Thanksgiving week last year. They actually have a Thanksgiving-style burrito with turkey and dressing and a side of cranberry sauce. So if you're there during the fall, definitely check that out as well. If you have a place that you want to see featured with Josh on Down Eats, just send him an email or connect with him on social media.